begin, it's the win. Listen, laugh and learn and understand. Oh, believe that you can. It's the Women's Information Network. It's the win. Welcome to the Wind Show. We're so glad you joined us. I'm Paula Fellingham, CEO of the Women's Information Network, thewinonline.com. We're the online home for all women, all ages. We're a community of women helping women live joyful lives filled with passion and purpose. Our hosts today are Laura Lee Christensen, she's the Executive Vice President of The Win, and Kim Coles, she's an actress, she's a comedian, a speaker, and a show host. Our guests today are Dr. Paul and Vicki Jenkins. You know, your children didn't come with an owner's manual, and parenting is easily the most important job in the world. Dr. Paul and Vicki Jenkins take on everything from discipline to dating and bring it to you in a friendly and practical show called Parental Power. Is that wonderful? Yes. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> Dr. Thank Paul, you. I just want to ask you, because every parent wants to be a good parent, to have happy, well-adjusted children. Mm -hmm. What would you say are the, uh, the, some fundamentals that are just critical to have in place? You know, with all of the work that I've done with parents, there is definitely a lot to know. There's a lot to know as a parent. Uh, of course, yeah. The kids don't come with an owner's <laughs> name. <laughs> so everyone's different. But, you know, I found most parents are really very competent. They know what they're doing for the most part and there are times when they just need some tools, some information and that's yeah. what we're all about. Wonderful. Just trying to bring them those tools. And you have books and CDs and DVDs and lots of, of tools to give them. Oh, there's so many resources available. Oh, and mm -hmm. I have admired his work for years and years. He's truly an expert and now it's a, it's a wonderful team, yes, together. So tell us what are our, if you could just help give us some tips like right away, some, some of the things that our audience could use today with their children, like rules or whatever you have. Well, you've got to start with the basics. Okay. okay. And there's, there's rules actually for parents. Now we give our kids rules all the time. But the rules for parents, they start with rule number one, which is take care of yourself. Mm, take care of yourself. One. You know, and you're reminded of that every time you get on an airplane. Sure. They go through their little safety uh -huh. routine, mm -hmm. you know, show you how to get out if you need to, and if you've been in a coma for 20 years, how to fasten a seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a, there's a part where they talk about the oxygen masks that That's come right. down from the ceiling, and, and they always say at that point, if you're traveling with young children or someone who That's needs true. assistance, put your own mask mm -hmm. on first. Mm -hmm. Put your own mask on first, and That's parents true. have to do that so that they're in a, in a position where they can actually help their kids. And that can be a real challenge for parents because we have this feeling that we need to take care of everybody first yeah, before ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so there are some tools we need to even be able to do that. And that's even the first part of parenting is learning how to take care of yourself so that you can be there for your children. I think that's liberating to a lot of moms who are watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, I can take care of myself. You're giving me permission. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's well, important. moms do this more than anybody I know. Yep. They're multitasking. Mm -hmm. They're taking care of things. It, it just baffles me as a dad. How they do it. Um, now I want to know about you two working together. How did you all decide that you wanted to work together as a team, not only to parent your children, because you, you have mm -hmm. four, but to also parent, help, help parents parent their children? Yeah. Did I say that right? <laughs> yeah. 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 How did you all decide that you wanted to work together doing yeah. this? Well, we were talking about it. You know, uh, Paul is working with people right in his office one on one. He has all the philosophy, all of the education, and, and the background. But there is a lot of times when you just need the practicality. Okay, I'm yeah. home. I got two seconds to respond to this child. What can I do yes. to make this as positive an experience mm -hmm. as I can and a learning? And I, that, I think that's where, where I came into the show is just to give that practical mom part. A lot of times he'll get philosophizing. Okay, okay, now, <laughs> now we need practical. Yeah, we right. got a mom, right. we got a kid. Where so the so rubber so meets so the synergy. So yeah. it's the practical yeah. and the philosophy and together right. it's, yeah. it's good. Exactly. It is good. <laughs> which, it is which emphasizes good. rule number two, and that is take care of the team. Okay. okay. You take care of yourself first. Make sure you're in a good position. Take care of that team, that parenting team. For, for Vicki and I, that's us. Mm -hmm. That's us. And some people are single parents. My hat goes off to them. What a huge yeah, job that is. is. Huge. Mm -hmm. But you still have a team. This network is an example of that, how we can create mm -hmm. a community mm -hmm. of people who are supporting each other and doing that most important job in the world. Thank you. And mm -hmm. you're absolutely right. This is, is the heart and soul of the win. Mm -hmm. Women mm -hmm. helping women. 
Strengthening Women Worldwide. Thank you for mentioning that, Paul. Mm -hmm. And it's an honor to be a man who is invited yes. in. Oh, <laughs> and we <embrace laughs> our men. Yes. Uh, well, uh, you know, our president and our CEO are men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we love, we love our men. Yeah, and we have many men show hosts as well. So mm -hmm. rule number three. Yeah. Rule number three, and it's interesting, we don't even get to the kids until rule number three. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, I like that. The research in psychology has been absolutely consistent over the history of psychology that kids need two things to be well adjusted. And so that's going to pick up rule number three and rule number four. Mm -hmm. Rule number three is to love your kids. Mm -hmm. Now this comes naturally to most parents, but the challenge is how do you help them to feel loved? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're talking all the time about different ideas mm -hmm. and concepts that will help you to really connect with those mm -hmm. kids in a meaningful way. You know, mm -hmm. I've, I've found with my own children that the, the way you communicate love has to change as they grow up. Mm -hmm. I, 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 there's a stage I call the crusty boy stage when they get into 8th <laughs> yeah. grade, ninth grade, and 10th grade, and suddenly they're not the little lovable boys that you can cuddle, they, but they need the expression of love mm -hmm. every bit as right. much, if not more. But how you express it has to change and adapt to mm -hmm. them at That's that stage. That's really a good point. And I That's also call good. it learning the dance, because there's a different ah. dance with each child. You know, as my children <laughs> grew up and my boys became taller than me, it's like this, <laughs> this dance with this man-child. How, yes. how, you know, you, you do, you have to kind yeah. of figure yeah. out how oh. to be with each kid it's again. True. And their feelings are so tender during that time. Mm -hmm. You have to be so careful. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So rule number four. And then the well, rule number four is to discipline your kids. Mm -hmm. And it's that simple, the love and the discipline. And if you have all love and no discipline, your kids get a little goofy on you. That's true, that's true. <laughs> and true. I know there's some women out there who are saying, Dr. Paul, please give us some discipline mm -hmm. tips right now. Do you have just and a few? Really, that's the part that we help people the most with. And understanding that interchange between control and maturity mm -hmm. is so mm -hmm. key. Because parents really, you know, kids sometimes think their parents are control freaks. I've found that parents don't want control. They just want their kids to be mature. Mm -hmm. And so as they learn what level of maturity is my child right now and what level of control is appropriate for that level of maturity, that's really the key to the discipline part. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to go overboard either because if you have all discipline and no love, well, that's, that's well, the military. Sure. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we got the military. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you have a couple of discipline yeah. tips right off the top of your head? I don't want to put you on the spot, but I know they are anxious. <laughs> We get on the spot all the time. Okay, there we go. <laughs> go for and, it. And you live on the spot. Yeah. Well, that's part of parenting, isn't that's it? That's true. You're thinking true. on your feet. Absolutely true. You're it's constantly true. having to do yeah. that. Um, the, I think that at a very basic level, you have to understand consequences. Yes. And there's two kinds of consequences. There's the kind that require cooperation mm -hmm. and the kind that do not require cooperation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once you understand that, see, some of our frustration comes because our kids aren't doing what they're supposed to do. We know that we need to intervene somehow to help them have a better right, life. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, but we're, we're not sure what to do with this refusal to cooperate. So what so, do you do? So what we is the difference? You need to tools. clarify. Yeah. <laughs> what do you types. control? What do you enforce 100%? Uh -huh. What can you enforce? Vicki and I had an experience once with our nephew who was staying with us. And we had to do some intervention there. Okay. Um, he was not cooperating. And so she and I had what we call a little parental powwow. <laughs> okay. Where we came up with a list of all the things that we control, we can enforce 100%. So we control access to rooms in our home, we control what we provide, mm. we control a number of things. So we made this list. Well, while we were making the list, he was thinking. Okay. <laughs> Which is a good key. If you can get your kids to think, yeah. not fight. That's probably the yeah. next step. Get them thinking. Yes. Get them fighting. Fighting. Okay. Yeah. Well, every interaction you have with your kids is going to invite them to either think or fight. Mm -hmm. And so inviting mm -hmm. them to think you can do by thinking yourself. Good. And we came up with that list. Well, he decided he wanted to cooperate in the meantime. <laughs> so then you had a good discussion and you resolved it without the Exactly. Fight. And awesome. then you can go to a whole different track where, where the consequences now require cooperation you know, writing essays or reading certain material or whatever it is, and that requires some cooperation on their part. But you're always ready with that backup mm -hmm. oh, if I they refuse that. to cooperate. Mm -hmm. And I know I our, our women yeah. are thinking, what's the whole other track? And what are, <laughs> but his, their show is Parental Power, and it's mm -hmm. time to close. But I just want to encourage them to learn more from you. I, we've loved being with you. Thanks so much. And we you. invite you all to visit thewinonline.com where you'll get solutions, you'll share your ideas, and you're going to really connect with women worldwide. Have a wonderful day and choose to live joyfully with passion and purpose. 
It's the Women's Information Network. 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 It's the Women's